Welcome back. As you should know by now, I'm never satisfied with the way I explain things, and I'm always trying to make it better to help you understand um, some of the concepts. So, um, today we're going to talk about weighted average cost of capital again. And if you recall from the last video, we had this formula, and I thought maybe you would still be confused because a lot of people do not like formulas. So what we're going to do here is we're going to break this all down and put the numbers in the formula to help you understand better what they are. Okay, so if you recall, last time we did got this information about Dactronics and we put it in an income statement and balance sheet. And uh, then we calculated what these five things were so that we could calculate this formula and now we're going to break it down. I just moved the formula down so you can see the formula as we're doing it. So the first thing we need to figure out is what are our weighing factors. And our weighing factors are these two elements right here, which is equity over the sum of debt and equity and debt over the sum of debt and equity. That's how we weigh um, the cost. Um, of financing. So that's what we're going to do is we're going to put these two elements in and we can get these right from our spreadsheet so we put in our equal sign and we can go uh, pick this out from right here this is the return on, de on debt I'm sorry I got the wrong one this is the uh, debt to the debt and equity which is what we said is right here okay so we've got that one we just hit enter and we'll transfer it down here and then we're going to do the same thing with equity we have equity to, to debt and equity. So we're just going to pick up the 61.96%. And the two should equal 100%. And I'll total those up with our auto sum. And there you go, we have 100%. Okay, so now where do we get the cost? And notice I got a note out here. The cost of debt is the return on debt um, times one minus the tax rate. So where is that in our formula? Okay, here's the return on debt, and here's 1 minus the tax rate. Okay, so that's what we're going to do here, is we're going to calculate this. So we have our equal sign, and we're going to get our return on debt, which is this 1139 up here. But this time what we have to do is multiply times 1 minus the tax rate and we also have that up here so we'll just grab that from up here Get the tax divided by the NIBT is the tax rate and then we close our parentheses and we have our cost of debt okay so the next one is our cost of equity and we also have that up here which is the return on equity, which is the 6.99%. So we'll pick that one up, comes down here, put it in our formula. And then all we have to do is extend these two things out. And we'll be able to calculate our weighted average cost of capital. So we're going to take that and multiply it times our cost of debt. That's our weighted average cost of debt. Now we're going to get our weighted average cost of equity. And we can do that by taking the 61.96% and multiply that times our return on equity. And we have that. And now we all, all we have to do is total that up and we can take our auto sum. And there you have it. And notice that the 7.12% is the same thing you have up above. What I wanted to do, again, is just to show you how these things fit in this formula uh, to help you understand it. And I hope that makes sense. I hope it helps. If you need to review it, you can stop and start this video at any time. And we'll see you in the next slide. Thanks.